Alrighty guys, in today's video I'm going to show you all how to properly install a 42 inch sheet deflector. How am I going to do that when it's already installed? Well, it's simple. Let's get started, shall we? But before we get started and I show you the um, things that I have, this is a 2011 42 inch Poland Pro riding mower. Um, the newer models from 2006 on up that have this uh, single hook up in the front design, you can see right there, they use a different style um, sheet deflector hinge, one like this that has this, I call it a hook that sticks up to where you can hook up like the mulching kit and the bagger with it. Someone put the wrong one on here, as you see it doesn't fit that well, so we're going to snug it up real quick. a half inch by the way. I recommend going back with what your mower calls for if it's a 2005 and older with the two hookups in the front the chute deflector I'm about to show will work. That's much better. So the thing you're going to need is a chute deflector which you can find um, links in description below. You're going to need the hinge, push cap, in the spring. Now if your mower has a chute deflector on it that's busted, chances are you will have all of this. So we're going to get started with putting the spring on. As you see this is all not nice and pretty anymore because as you saw I already had it on. It was kind of chewed up in the corner here where it was hitting the deck. But anyways, you're going to take a spring. And see here how this here is where the hinge, hinge pin goes through the hook onto the hinge. The spring's got a long leg on one end and a hook on the other. You're going to take the one with the hook side and clip it down like this. It'll fall right down in there, just like that. Now what you do, is this is where most people have trouble, is you're going to take it and twist it just like this. You take it and twist it, the keyword being should fall in place. Even on older ones, you run into the same problem. This one here slipped right into place because I had to modify it. So you're going to take your hinge pin and put it in from the right side. Like I said, sometimes you're going to have to tap on it, wiggle it around to get it in. Usually it's on this side where you have the most problems. So you're going to take a long pair of pliers and kind of want to sneak that through. It'll go. There it goes. Now, the other trouble some people have is the push cap, the thing that holds the pin in place. Here's the push cap. See, now this one here is not biting. So you want to put this on. Either way, it really doesn't matter. But what you're going to do first, if you're, if you're reusing it, you're going to want to flatten it out. Flatten it out just like I'm doing. And these things are relatively inexpensive. You don't feel like reusing it. You don't have to. But you want to get it flattened out. And now is where you have to kind of force it on. Oops, I don't want to push the pin out. Some people like to take this pin and drill the holes in it. You can do that and put a clip in it, but I wouldn't. Now it's looking promising. So now what we're going to do is try to take a screwdriver and get it on there. Now it's going on. You've got to get it up to that ridge right there. New ones won't be this hard. They still probably have to use a screwdriver. Oh, that would have hurt. You just gently tap it like I am and try not to push the rod out. Gently tap it in place. Alright, so the cap's on there. Now, since this is not new, we gotta lock it back into place. Which means we kinda have to bend it. 
You have to get their teeth in the ridge, which can be tedious. Like I said, don't reuse them because as you see what I'm having to do is I'm having to bend them where the teeth are now in the ridge and that's not coming off. Nope, not coming off. Alright, so that is how you replace a 42 inch chute deflector. As you see, it works. Even though this is the old type chute deflector on a new style, it will work. Um, you can change the brackets. I don't recommend them because then other attachments won't work. Like, a, like if you go to get a mulching kit, chances are it'll be one that has this hook design on it. And show you another 42 inch riding mower is the new type chute deflector. I'll show you all the difference. So this is a 2015 uh, Poland Pro riding mower, and as you see, this is the new type chute deflector. It's got this little um, raised area over it for that hook to fit in, and it fits right up in that raised area. Um, here's there is a part number on here. 19 something 01. But uh, that's the new type chute deflector, and. Uh, like I said, if yours has the single hook up in the front and has that little clip on it, this is the chute deflector it calls for. This is an older type 42 inch Craftsman from 2003. As you see, it has the old style bracket on it. And this is the same chute deflector that I just put on. As you see, the difference, this does not have a raised design on it. But anyways guys, um, the uh, install is a lot, um, a lot of a lot the same on the old style as you see you got your rod your spring and the push cap they all go in the same spot um, the rod it doesn't matter if you put the uh, closed end this way or this way as long as you get that push cap on it and as you see this was a new one that I put on there and it's not coming off that have to be cut off if the chute deflector ever has to be replaced again but that's the old style chute deflector and this is the new style chute deflector with that little hook on it. Uh, both of these chute deflectors can be found at the uh, website listed below. As always, see you in the next video.